Hey guys, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to revisit a program of file creation that already we have seen. If you have missed that video of creating files by using C programming, then please go back to watch this video and come back. We are going to revisit this video with a particular purpose. We have seen some limitations of using Turbo C IDE in case of file handling. Now to overcome that limitation, we are going to use a code editor and now we are trying the same program by using visual studio code editor now vs code or visual studio code is a code editor which can be used for multiple programming languages but for this time we are going to use vs code for writing a file creation program using c now c programming works on the basis of files not to store data we have to create the files and already we have seen a lot of things about files and its types and its natures now the purpose of this video is to show you how to use vs code for file creation if you are new to my channel please subscribe and please stay tuned till the end of the video so without wasting time let's jump into the actual programming part and let us see how can we create a file creation program by using VS Code? In previous sessions, I have shown you how to install VS Code. And if you have missed those videos, you can go back. And if you want to know more about code editors and it's a concept, it's features, what are the top five code editors, I have created a separate series on code editors you just go and watch those those videos now without wasting a time let us go in the practical part and let's see how can we create a program by using vs code to create a new file now this is my screen now here what i am going to do is we are going to create a separate folder where we want to create a file so now here i am creating a new folder let us say file test now file test is a new folder that we have created which is right now empty and in this folder we are going to create a new text file by using a c program so let us close this folder and open visual code now this is visual code now you can see the three different parts that already i have opened the left side you can see the explorer where we can see our files and here you can observe we are going to use a c dash test now this is created a folder in which we are going to keep the files so whatever programs we are going to create those will be stored in this folder but the output that we want that is on another folder that is on d drive now this is area where we can view the file and this one is called as terminal and it is useful for watching the outcomes of the program so three different parts of the program so let us first create a new file so click on a file option click on a new file now here we have to type the program okay so what i will say file create dot c now this is the file name file create dot c now dot c indicates extension it's a c program so just press enter new file will be created now it is asking where to store so i am going to choose the same folder in c dash test i want to create this file so create file now file will be created here now let us type the code include studio.h then go create a main function inside a main just directly create file pointer star fp now these points already we have discussed in the first video of file handling if you want more details what is the file pointer how to create file pointer you just go back watch those videos and come back here I am directly showing you how to create a file. To create a file, we are going to use fopen function. 
Now f open will open a file, but here we have to specify full path and name for the file. Now we have already created one folder on D drive D colon file test. Now this is a folder name, and inside it, I want to create a new file. Let us say file one dot text. So txt. Now txt is extension for a text file. Go to the end, give the semicolon. Now, if f open is going to open a file, we have to specify the file opening mode. Okay, now here you can get the help. Now, uh, the second argument we have to pass. And if you want to create a file, we can use w mode. And w stands for write. Now, if file does not exist, it will be created. And if file already exists, it will be replaced. Now, how to avoid this replacement or data loss that already we have seen. Now, the purpose of this video is how to use VS Code to create a file. Okay. Now, if file creation is successful, then it will return address of file and that will be stored in FP. Now, if FP file pointer contains null value, if it is null, that means what file creation is not possible because of some reasons. For example, there might be space available in that folder or that folder is write protected or there is some other problem because of that we cannot create a new file. So here you can just give the message. Unable to create the file simple message now else means the file creation is successful so just give the message file created successfully and semicolon at the end of program, don't forget to close the file. F close, whatever file which is available in file pointer that close that file. Now this is a simple program to create a file. I am again, again and again saying the same thing. The purpose of this video is not to teach file handling. The purpose of this video is to teach you how to write file handling program in VS Code. Now come to the terminal now you can see on a terminal already you are in a working folder c dash test now here you have to give the command to test uh, to compile the program but before compilation of the program again come back here and save the file just click on save now your file create dot c file is saved inside c dash test folder which is on c drive now come back on a terminal and to queue compilation command the command is like this gcc now this is compilation of c program now hyphen o now here we have to specify the output file now when you compile the program and file gets compiled successfully it creates an executable file now we have to keep that executable file. Now here we have to specify the folder. Okay. Now you can uh, give the full path or you can just specify dot. Now dot means what? Keep that file in the current folder. Okay. Or you can specify the name for the file. Okay. So uh, what I can do is I will do file create. Now this is actual file of name and here I will attach something like this file create test okay and then which file you want to compile file create dot C I will repeat again GCC is a command name hyphen O indicates what output you want output will be an exe file executable file if the compilation is successful now what should be the file name file create a test dot exe is not necessary to give and here the file that you want to compile file create dot c now let's press the enter 
and C. Now there is no error. That means we have given program correctly. And now to just check whether file is created or not, I'm giving one more command dir. Now it will show all the files. Now here you can see file create a test.exe file. Now this file is created successfully. Okay. Now we are going to run the program. Now to run the program, we have to simply call this file name. Okay. Now before calling the file name, I will show you the folder that we have created. On D drive, we have created a folder file test. Okay. Now this is right now empty. Hmm? So minimize it and come back to the VS Code terminal. And now to run the program, simply type dot slash and the file name. Now dot stands for current directory. So in a current directory, there is a program file create test. Now normally I'm using this nomenclature system. Your dot C file, that will be the actual code. Whatever file name you are having, just attach test to as a postfix and create a new file that will be the executable file. Now you can use run, test, show, like postfix. Now once you are having this kind of standard, it becomes very easy to understand which is your actual code file, which is executable file. And the, because of this nomenclature system, it becomes very easy to compile and understand file structure. So I'm recommending to use such kind of nomenclature system. Okay, and just press enter. Okay, now you can see the output file created successfully. That means that file is already created and the program is over. Now to check it, let us open the folder. And now here inside this folder, you can see file one.txt is new file which is created. Okay, now this is the program to create a file and this is the file that you have created. This is the output. Now if you open the file, it will be opened in a notepad. And right now the file is empty. Okay. Now you can try this program on another platform also. Right now I'm using Windows. So that is why I'm using some commands. Those are specific to Windows. I hope this information is very useful to you. And now you, are, you can better understand how can we use VS Code for file handling programs. The major thing that you have to understand here is if you watch the previous program where we have used a Turbo C IDE by using a DOS box, at that time it was very difficult to create a file on another folder because whatever files and we are going to create through the program that was that that we have to store in a virtual folder, which is created for by using a DOS box application. And here now you can see this is now advanced code editor that can be installed directly on operating system. And now we are using VS code and now we can create file anywhere on operating system. We don't need to stick with a virtual folder or a virtual space, which is created by a DOS box. Now that is the real benefit of using code editors. Code editors are more advanced. They are having, they are available on different platforms and you don't need to change your programming style whenever you are changing a platform. So we have already seen a lot of benefits of using code editors and I'm recommending to use code editors, but why I'm also giving programs by using Notepad for a Java programming, why I'm giving the uh, C Turbo C ID because it, it is being used in colleges and institutes. If you are an engineering student, if you are a BC or MCA student, at that time you have to use whatever prescribed by the colleges and institutes and which is traditionally available in the market. So to get better idea, even for Java programming, I am typing the program in notepad and then showing how to compile the program and then how to check the outcome. But we can use code editors for Java programming also and there are too many code editors available for all kinds of languages. So we can use code editors to simplify our work, but to have better understanding how it works, you can use the basic level applications like notepad to type and to test how to compile, how to run the program and how it works. But once you are having hands on it, you can shift to code editors that you can 
increase your efficiency, the speed and more professionalism you can put in your programming style. If this information is useful, please click on like button, share with your friends. Also subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos that will be helpful for understanding more, more tools, techniques and programming in different areas. Thank you, thank you very much for watching this video.